Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a red, white, and blue spiral. So many of us watch other YouTubers make tie-dye, and I saw this microwave cover and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give that a try. In this particular application, it starts to work, but my hemostat began to bend, and wouldn't you know it, I just tore a hole right in the center of the shirt. So I'm just going to continue on with this because, well, it's the last shirt that I have in this size and I already had everything prepared, so I'm just going with it. You wanna spiral your shirt up and then secure it with rubber bands. Using washable markers, mark out your pattern. Now the fun part, we get to add the dye. And I know this swatch says Bluebird, but it's actually Cerulean Blue, and I just haven't swatched it out yet. And you'll see me set a little piece of fabric down on the rack. That's how I make my swatches. Also, I'm going to use thick water and I do have a video for that and I'll put it in the description down below. Because this shirt is a red, white, and blue shirt, I'm using the thick water as a placeholder because, you know, the dye creeps and it's been my experience that if I don't use thick water, I, when I come back to rinse the shirt out, all of the white has disappeared. Uh, a good example of that is a video that I just had uploaded recently, uh, the green and yellow spiral.
I dye in a lot of different ways, but I'm finding that I really do prefer these little foil pans with this cooling rack system because I can twist the shirt in front of me and always keep the area that I'm dyeing right in front of me. Like with the wig wags, I'll even flip the whole towel around. It's just a lot easier to get good saturation when you can look right down on what you're doing. Well, the little swatch is entered into the screen. It's down there at the bottom left. And I just batch it right along with this shirt and then rinse it. You'll see that at the end. And I've been noticing that it looks like I'm adding my dye sort of erratically. Keep in mind that this is sped up for the sake of time, but I'm actually really methodically and slowly placing the dye on the shirt because I really do want to keep that white. I keep seeing this little black flash go along the screen and I realize that's a giant airplane sized fly that's buzzing around me driving me nuts. I had forgotten about that. These little foil trays have a tendency to leak, so just set the whole thing inside of a plastic bin, put the lid on it, and let it batch for 24 hours. Now it's time for the rinse out, and I really want to keep that white space, so I'm focusing a lot of that cold water on the white because I want to rinse out the soda ash. I don't want any of the dye uh, redepositing on the white. so. Start by using cold water and gradually increase your water up to hot. And for this one, you really want to rinse until the water is really clear. And then from here, I took it to the washing machine and I did a hot water cycle. Now I put Dawn dish detergent in there and I washed this shirt alone. I didn't want any other shirts touching it because I really wanted to keep the white as white as possible. Then I did a second hot water cycle using Synthropol. I did a third hot water cycle using Millsoft. And then I put it in the dryer and we will come back and we'll see our results. Notice how I'm continuing to really focus the water on that white.
I think that out of all of the colors, blue is the hardest to rinse out. It takes forever. Here it is guys, here's our shirt after it's been washed and dried. And I love this shirt. I'm super bummed that there's a hole right in the dead center of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stitch it up. It's, it's really a small hole, but it is going to get bigger and bigger over time. And I'm just giving this shirt away. So, you know, it's a free shirt and it could be worn for pajamas, doesn't really matter. But isn't that spiral just like a vortex? It's like. It's hypnotizing me. What do you guys think of this shirt? Go ahead and leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell for future notifications. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.